Hi all and welcome back to Tech Anorak. So I've got the full review today of the Moto Razr 5G. I've had this for just two weeks and I've been using it with my SIM in since day one. Um, I've receiving it from Motorola. Um, you've already seen my unboxing but yeah this box is so cool. Um, I'll just give you another shot of it guys. Um, so the device slots in there and you get this lovely retail pouch. Again, you will see this on the unboxing, but I'll just show you one more time because it's a bit special. You don't get that with every phone. Ah, something I didn't notice as well. Headphones you get with them are Denon headphones, which is really nice. And they look like, I've not used them obviously guys for you know hygiene um, for the next person who comes along. But um, yeah, they look like um, good, you know, for sport, etc. those as well. So oh, that's a nice little touch. So yeah, I'm glad I reopened that actually. So I believe the Z Flip 3 doesn't come with any headphones, which is this phone's competitor. So, you know, Denon are a great hi-fi brand. I'm sure those headphones are good. Can't test them, as I say, guys, because, you know, hygiene, but it's all good. Right, we'll get this out of the way. Okay, so the main point of this is, um, is this phone a good alternative to the Samsung Z Flip 3? And I think it really is. It's um, currently about the same price on the Motorola website. It's um, £1,200. So the Z Flip 3, the 256 gig model, is £1,000, isn't it? So, you know, similar sort of prices. Um, this is a £200 more, admittedly. I think this does have a better feature in the, that front screen. I'll just unlock it guys this front screen again as i showed you in my unboxing i've really used it um i've you know i won't put my stuff on blast actually but i've used it for uh, whatsapp you know just to send a quick text um it's great for that the little keyboard's brilliant i'll just show you again guys what the keyboard's like uh what should we search for something i'm obsessed with at the moment dji Ooh. Um, mini two. I think I might be getting one of these guys. Um, just really cool little drones. So there you go. You know, if you wanted to do a quick web search, um, you can do that. Uh, so in, you can all, in Google, you can only use the previews. You can't go to the actual websites with that screen, but that's fine. You know. Um. Yeah. So. That's you know great feature. It does really beat the um, Z Flip Three there because that's only a little tiny screen, isn't it? Compared and there you go. You could do some quick calculations on the fly as well. So I think this phone. Um, I'll go over you know everything I like about it, but I think for it to compete against the Z Flip Three, if the price was a thousand or you know sub one thousand, whatever the Z Flip 3 is, you know, if this could come in at 800, 900, I think that's going to be a great price for it because the chipset's still amazing. It's um, the 765G. So yeah, the 765G, um, it's got eight gig of RAM, 256 gig of onboard storage. So, you know, although the Z Flip 3's got the 888, um, Snapdragon 888, the 765G is still a really capable chip to the point where it's been in the Google Pixel 5a, the Pixel 5, all the Pixel phones um, from the 4a 5G upwards. It was also in the um, Motorola Edge 2020 um, phone as well. So it's it's a tried and tested chip, you know, I wouldn't turn your nose up that it hasn't got the 888. Obviously the 888 is a better chipset, but it's not really a big deal to me. and. Yeah, I I love this the features of this phone. So the um the glass front and back is beautiful. Um as I say the whole build is really solid. Um as when I did my unboxing, you know, I, I really like it. Um I think you would need a good case for it to cover the back and this front obviously because it is glass. Um I've just been really careful with it because it's a review model I've got to send back. One thing I really like about flip phones is that when you shut them, it's kind of like, you know, that's it, you're done for 
the day or for ever how long you know if, if you're working it's kind of like a symbolic thing in your in your brain that says you have clothes that you know a bit like a book and then you, you move on to do your work or go to sleep or whatever you know it's it's, it's kind of nice you've not got the full screen there you know temptation is taken away because if, if you're like me i'm addicted to phones and i probably spend far too much time looking at little screens so yeah personally this form factor i don't think it's for me but i can see how it will appeal to a lot of people it's um you know although i say it doesn't appeal to me i'd love to have one if the price was right but for the money it's it's not um the right form factor for me i think you know th this if people buy enough of the z flip 3 and the moto razor 5g um this is going to be you know a common form factor that we're going to see and it is really cool it's you know really futuristic um i remember probably as far back as 2018 seeing foldable screens you know on camera um or on on websites you know I'm, i've always been into tech like gsm arena etc and look at that guys it's just so cool and then you know it's that this is a reality so yeah um the screen really good screen um i haven't had any problems with it whilst i've been using it um i would say maybe if you know with screens like with any phone if they can improve it maybe you know take it above full hd could be QHD, um, you know, 4K like the Sony's, but you know that's just wishing for more, really, isn't it? All the time, guys. But you know, you want the best product you can. But I, I've had no issues with it. Um, it is a different implementation to the Samsung. I keep referring back to the Samsung, but it's really you have to compare those two, the Z Flip 3 and this. And I think this is a clever way of doing it. The Z Flip 3, I believe, is like a foldable glass. Whereas this is um, P OLED, which is, um, I don't know what the P stands for, but I presume it's, um, you know, for the foldable technology. Um, but yeah, like I say, screen's been great, really responsive. I'll show you some gaming in a little while. Um, I think the touch response is very fast. You know, it's, um, although it's a new type of screen, it's not, um, you know, uh, traded off with poor touch response it's just really zippy again as with the processor really nice to use okay so i've taken it over to my old school game of choice um call of duty mobile as if you watch the channel you know i love this one guys um so just to show you, you get the moto uh, game actions here so um i've currently muted my notifications because i keep getting whatsapps through at the moment um and then you've got your normal controls which you can elaborate more in in settings here but um yeah it's nice a nice feature to have so let's get into a round guys so yeah like i say um it's hard to get it across but it feels really responsive this as um probably better than my nord 2 and definitely better than my pixel just up the brightness slightly, I think, guys, for you. So, okay, another little thing that lets it down is the stereo speaker. It's only a downward firing, but I'll crank it for you a bit, guys. Oh, just trying to mute a mic here. Um, oh, there we go. Don't want anyone talking to me. There we go. But yeah, I don't know if it comes across. Look how responsive that is, as I say. There's a guy hiding around it. Ooh. Ooh. Bit out of practice, guys. You know, I haven't played this for a bit. I think I'm going to switch around because... The speaker's up there, I was blocking it, and I was struggling to get my controls up here because of this big bezel like the old razors. So there's a tip for you guys if you get this one. There we go. But yeah, like I said, 765G guys. No, it's not the latest Snapdragon, but 
Just Seven a great million, tip. Guys, the same as Alexa, mute. Alexa's there uh, chirping up, sorry guys. Ruining my review. Yeah, really nice performance as you can see, and that foldable screen once it is unfolded, you wouldn't, you know, you wouldn't tell. You can't see the crease or anything. It does flex a little bit the screen on this. I've not played a FPS on this phone, but yeah, it is flexing a little bit. I think you get used to that though. It's not affecting my kills though, I'm doing well. Oh, they're all it. I think we're all spawn camping my team, but I will. Oh, run out of bullets. It's never good, is it? Yeah, I've really forgotten how to play this game. Oh, there we go. One UAV. Oh, I've no bullets still, guys. I'm going to have to stab him or something. Get him with this. I've got some bullets. I'm back in the game. Get him before he goes around the corner. Oh, he drops in the wrong place. Oh, I don't know, you know, guys. I think I am covering the... Ah! Oh, I did a new move. I folded the phone, but I'm still not dead. Hey, there we go, guys. I think I got the final kill with UAV kills, or it might be this dude. Yeah, fair enough. Our team won though, that's good. So yeah, gaming is really good. Um, you know, no issues whatsoever there. Came second. Another dirt the office. Where did I come kills wise? Uh, is that 18? 16. Ah, oh, not bad guys, that's okay. So yeah, if you notice then, if you're playing an FPS game, if, maybe if you can see it this way, it does flex quite easy, so maybe a little off-putting, but, you know, this technology's cool though, I, I do love it, so I don't mind little trade-offs like that. Okay, so yeah, as I say, I think the screen's great, guys, the experience is let down a little bit by that mono speaker, and... Um, Motorola, they do seem to be just doing the mono downward firing speakers and, you know, if I have any feedback, I hope they do come back with the stereo speakers because they've made some great ones on previous phones I've tested, like the um, Moto G8 Power. But, you know, it's still, like I say, amazing, this phone. So let's have a watch of this little guy, see what you think. Okay, so yeah, just uh, my POV driving um, video that I made with the DJI Osmo Pocket. But yeah, as I say, guys, you know, really nice screen and it's just cool. You can fold it in half like that. It, it never gets old. So 
Although I did say it's maybe not the form factor for me, I have had this in my pocket obviously for two weeks, and it is it does make a big difference compared to this. You know, that makes a Pixel feel like a big boy. So my Pixel 4a, if you look, guys, it's not half the size of it folded, but you know, it's not far off. But my Nord 2, which I'm using partly for monitoring at the moment on this video, I can't show it. Um, that is going to be over I think half. because I was sent this from Motorola as a gift. Obviously, Motorola have worked out that <laughs> I can never open this bag. Right, there we go. You can tell I'm not a lady, guys. Right. They sent me this, I think, for a reason and, and you know, other users because it is quite a ladylike sort of thing to have. I suppose you could put a big phone in there, but, you know, if you've got other stuff in as ladies have... You know, um, this is a lot more compact. It's a bit more like, you know, like a vanity mirror that ladies might have in the bag. So, yeah, you know, quite a stylish uh, stylish one for people. Okay, so I've, I've heard some reviewers criticise the camera on this, but I'm really impressed. I think it's a great camera. Um, it's very similar to the Motorola G50 that I've tested recently, which is great. Um, here's some shots in... The Trafford Centre um, in Manchester, so it's indoors. You've not got a lot of, um, I mean, there's ambient, you know, incandescent lights there, and it, it's done great. Um, oh, here's the Holy Trinity, guys. So you've got in the Trafford Centre in Manchester, if you've ever been or if you've not been, you've got Burger King, KFC, and McDonald's, and um, yeah, like I say, I, I think it's a great camera. No issues. Here's a selfie of me because I was in Manchester and I was planning to go to Man United that day. Um, I've got my Man United t-shirt on. Just a few portrait shots. So here you go, guys. Here's a video. 4K30. So here's another shot I took. I'm, I'm selling um, just my little cheap Sony camera um, as well. Well, it's my wife's actually. But, um, you know, it's not got a macro lens, but it's really good. You know, close up, nice, sharp images. So if you have this as your main camera, you wouldn't be disappointed. Um, oh, here's a shot of Man United I took as well um, on the, uh, this is a video, sorry, of the, on the Moto Razor. Very windy on the day, as you can hear. There's a Munich clock to commemorate the Busby Babes who unfortunately lost their lives on the Munich air disaster in 1958. But yeah, the zoom as well, watch the zoom guys, it's just all digital, but you know, it's very good. Zoom in now on the other memorial and you can see the players' names nice and sharp there. So yeah, re really impressed with the camera, guys. It's, you know, front-facing one's really good. Uh, sorry, I always get confused with this. The main lens is brilliant, and the, the internal one's good for selfies as well, you know. No, oh, no complaints from me at all. Okay, so to summarise, I really recommend this phone. It's, you know, something different. It's cutting-edge technology. It's well-built. It's got a good chipset, good camera, good screen. Stereo speakers are not present, unfortunately. That's that's probably my one downside for it. But I like that big screen on the front. You know, I've used a Z Flip 3, and this is a lot more usable to me than a Z Flip 3. And um, I'd, I'd recommend picking it up, guys. If you want something different that's, um, as I say, you know, a bit of a niche technology at the moment you know not everyone's coming out with foldables it's mainly just samsung and motorola uh, and xiaomi but xiaomi products are hard to get over here in in the uk but yeah i'd highly recommend it i think you want a sweet spot though um if it can be around anything under a thousand is going to be great you know uh, but 
at the same time, I'm sure the development of this cost a lot of money for Motorola. So, you know, the current asking price, the £1,200, it is fair, you know, reflecting on what this phone does, which is that. And the screen is, is very good, as I say. So, yeah. Okay, guys. So, like I say, it does get the um, Tech Adirect seal of approval, this one. And, um, like I say, I'm always honest. If I didn't like it, I'm not being paid for this review. Motorola do kindly send me review units. Um, and I'm, I'm always, I'm a positive person anyway, but if there's something I don't like, I'll tell you I don't like it. Like, I don't like that it's not got the stereo speakers. But, you know, I do really recommend this one. Okay, guys, so hit me up in the comments. Tell me what you think about this one. Are you looking to get a foldable phone this year? Or are you waiting until the technology is perfected? Um, I think when Motorola... If they bring out a you know a third generation of this, there's just a few tweaks. As I say, that um, extra stereo speaker would be nice. Um, I think the user interface is great, but maybe you know a, a higher chipset to combat the Z Flip 3. So the 888 uh, Plus would be you know the next one along or whatever Snapdragon's out at the time. Yeah, so I'd like to see Motorola you know do something like this, like the Moto. Sorry, like the Samsung Z Fold 3, where you've got a phone that, you know, folds out to um, a full tablet. And, you know, that would be great to see as well, because I think the the very um, innovative, the, I think they could do that, you know, with the um, in-house teams who've got developing phones. All right, guys. So please comment as always. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you on the next one. Second, I rack out. Take care.